Hey guys, look at Carl's hair. Her new, her birthday present. You gave it to her? I'm not like doing the best. Hey guys, it's Candy. Welcome back to Our Family Nest. I've just been cleaning, dusting. I still have to vacuum yet, but I wanna share with you guys something so cool. I'm gonna show it to you, and I want you to try to guess what it is. Look at this thing. Any guesses? All right, so how many of you guessed that this is a mini vacuum? This is the M1 handheld vacuum. It's called the Briggy, and it is amazing. It's only one pound, so super lightweight. Comes with a ton of attachments, so I'm gonna show you guys. It's cordless, and one charge lasts about 25 minutes. And to charge it, plug it in to any USB plug. It gets even better. This end here is also an air pump or a blower. So now it opens up a whole different window of opportunities of what you can use this for. So to store it, you can put it in this bag and then just put it in your cleaning closet, utility closet, wherever you keep your cleaning supplies, under your kitchen sink, whatever. So for all the attachments, you have this nozzle here that can be used for vacuuming. And I really love that it has a brush on the end to help pick up debris. So this one here, it can be used for the blower or section. And this is great for like tiny little areas. So this is if you wanna use it as a hand pump. And then you have a hose, the hose nozzle. And then this one here can be used for suction or for blowing. One of the first things that right away when I got this, I was like, oh, I know the first thing I'm using this for. Do, 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 to clean the silverware drawer. Genius, right? I mean, how many times have you opened your silverware drawer and you're like, how does this junk get in here? Food, crumbs, dust, hair. I mean, it's disgusting. So to turn it on, you just hold this button down. Off we go. So I want you guys to click the link down in the description to get yourself a M1 handheld vacuum by Briggy. Now obviously you could use the vacuum and kind of just vacuum all this, but right away I was like, oh, I don't know how many times I've cleaned this and thought it would just be so much easier if I had a blower instead of a vacuum. So to empty it, super easy. Just click down there, go over to your garbage, empty it out. So right away, I just thought that this would be perfect for cleaning in my car. Like all the little vents, just the, all the little crevices, just to have a tiny little handheld vacuum. It'd be so much easier to maneuver around and clean rather than dragging out a full-size vacuum. So guys, I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna be able to get my car pretty clean. So like I said, link is down in the description if you guys want to check this out further and get one for yourself. Or maybe a gift for someone else too. So we are headed to a hair appointment for Carly today. I guess you could call it, is this your back to school hair color? <laughs> um, plus she's gonna be hopefully getting senior pictures soon and her roots are just getting lighter so. She wants to get her hair, like, I don't know, darkened up again. Are you going with the same color as last time, or? I went the darkest one. Oh, you did do the darkest but one? But not like the dye dark one. Like the darkest dye one. Okay, so not jet black, but the one right I before. I like jet black. Yeah, I just think it, I, I like how it looked last time. It just fades out after a while, so. And then the girl that does her hair is actually pregnant, about to have a baby, I think in a couple months. So she's already got her next appointment scheduled. She won't be able to go back till November. So we may be able to do a situation where right before she gets her senior pictures, because I think we're doing those like in October for the fall time, um, she can get a glaze and like her hair stylist will give it to her. And she can just like put the glaze on at home. So have that as a backup option if by the time she goes to get her senior pictures it starts to fade a little bit and she doesn't love the way it's looking so and then after that she has her follow-up appointment with the dentist for 
her um, jaw and she gets her mouth guard. So that should be interesting as well. Maybe tonight will be the first night she'll be able to start. Probably tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh yeah, tonight she's not. You wanna tell what's going on tonight? Well, I'm having people over. That's about it. Because? Oh yeah. It's my birthday tonight. At, at midnight. Yeah. So. <laughs> Did you bring a toothbrush? Because we might eat before your dentist appointment. We need to eat after. We're going to have like a whole hour to do nothing. Oh, well, I mean, I guess we can. I didn't bring a toothbrush, though. Hey, guys. Look at Carl's hair. Look how beautiful. Look at how nice it looks. She basically just touched up her I roots and then nice. like glazed the whole thing. She got her, well, her curtain bangs, which she has tucked behind her ears right now. She got those Look trimmed up. Beautiful pizza. And you need to eat a piece. Actually, you need to eat like three pieces because I can't eat all of this. No, I had some. We went to Panera and I tried to be healthy and get their, I don't know, what's it called? Sesame oh. chicken bowl? Is that what it's called? Teriyaki. Oh, teriyaki. And this does not, I'm going to put the picture on the screen of what this is supposed to look like. Like what? I and it looks accurate. I'm not even really supposed to have rice this week because we're doing the like singular eight day jump start or whatever. So I told her it's pointless. <laughs> I know, Car every time I'm like, look, I go to order something and I'll say, oh, I can't have that. It's 700 calories. She's like, calories don't matter. <laughs> they don't. Well, they do if you want to be in a calorie deficit and lose weight. So yeah, really getting like, I don't know. I need to figure out more things to eat that are like filling other than chicken. I feel like all I do, chicken. Have chicken for lunch, chicken for dinner. Um, chicken for lunch again, I have chicken probably for dinner. Unless I have shrimp. That's like the only change up, chicken and shrimp. But whatever, what, how's your pizza? Is it tasty? <laughs> Don't film you eating. <laughs> Do you like tomatoes? If there's like, I would not eat all of those. I would yeah. take some off. So I pick them off. Is not that, all of them. What's the green part? Basil? I don't know. That wasn't on it last time. All three times I've gotten this, it looks different every time. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it is three o'clock. Carly's in getting her nails done. I clearly do not belong in a nail place because we all know how that's gonna end. I took my acrylic nails off and then a couple of them broke, so then I just bite the rest of them down. So I've pretty much permanently just given up on the whole idea of having nice nails. I think I might try red aspen nails again, which are just like the pre-painted, like acrylic kind that you glue them on, but like, they're just temporary. It's not like the same. It's not like you put a fake nail on and then you build it all up. It's like you just stick the fake nail on, like a press on nail. Oh, you're done already? What was that? Not that long. No, it really wasn't. What was it 40 it minutes? Was that dude. Oh, uh, that did a good job last time? No, the one who always does a horrible job, but they're fine. I got them, them pretty shorter. long. Oh. I got them shorter. Oh, like they're long. So we're back home. Chase and Asha were just here. I just filmed a video with Asha. But they left and they're coming back tomorrow, twice, because they're coming back to work out in the morning at 11.30 and then they're coming back later on in the day for Carly's birthday. So Carl's here. She's gonna show you her new, her birthday present. You gave it to her? Yeah, her mouth guard. Oh. <laughs> Basically, this is the top piece, and then this is the bottom piece. So is it like plastic? It's so not it's hard squishy, plastic. It's hard. And that those things are just keep your mouth open. No, no, this is what. Look, how do they fit into each other? Show me. So it keeps the lower jaw in front of the upper jaw. That's why those little things are. Done. Oh, your front teeth don't even fit in it. Yeah, they do. They fit right here. It doesn't cover your front teeth mm -mm. though. Oh. But like, it's a little whack if you look at it. It. So it really doesn't cover your teeth like retainers. Huh. You only gotta sleep with this or you gotta wear these all the time? Just sleep with it. You gonna choke you to death? She doesn't know yet. 
I do know. You've not slept with it yet. Oh. You're supposed to like soak them in hot water before you put them in because it makes it a, just a little tiny bit pliable. See how so it keeps your it's like, like it makes the, me look like I have a bruise right here. Yeah, the, like this. So you like your hair? I like my mouth better. I fixed my teeth <laughs> here. You fixed them? Oh, I like them like great. Uh, yeah. Now she's gonna sleep like a. You're gonna break your new nails. I like this one. In the morning, I wear this one. Just like why she's in the shower for like five minutes. So it keeps my jaw normal. It like realigns it real quick. Which is so weird. Isn't it? Guys, it is 10 p.m. Oh, I gotta mark this off my to-do list here. It's been popping up all day since noon. I had a thing I had to order for a brand deal I'm doing coming up and I had to do it today so I had it remind me several times throughout the day and it's 10 o'clock at night I finally got it done but I just wanted to pop in here at the end of the video and say how um, I'm struggling a little bit today. I think it's really, what is today? Oh my gosh it is Wednesday it's just been uh, the past like three days of trying to eat healthy and everything like yesterday I had a little bit of a headache and then today I had a headache most of the day I don't know feeling I was tired and I finally figured it out even though I wasn't like full-fledged back to drinking pop like I was only having it like if we went out to eat or I probably had it a lot when we were in Vegas but that was literally like almost a month ago but like I said some of my old habits were creeping back in and I was allowing myself little splurges more often than I was happy with I guess you could say so <laughs> trying to work so hard this month and it's so hard I still feel kind of like blah sort of so it's almost like my body's going through detox and you know Ken he's day three already down seven pounds like he's on this like he's so happy and proud of himself and I am not down seven pounds and my biggest problem is like the past two days I've literally eaten barely I think yesterday was 850 calories and today was like 900 and something it's really really hard for me to be on this like vegetable chicken well let me correct myself meat and two cups of vegetables at every meal didn't lunch and dinner breakfast is just supposed to be the protein shake and then you have a couple snacks in between your meals of like hard-boiled eggs rolled up turkey things like that well, I was gone the majority of the day today, so I didn't have all these like spaced out meals and snacks. So I was just really dragging butt today, really bad. So it's 10 o'clock at night. I still have to edit the video for tomorrow. I'm excited to share this one with you guys. It's actually a tour of Andrew's new apartment because we visited him on Sunday. So that will be going up on Thursday. Carly's birthday's tomorrow. I have a crap ton of stuff here on my to-do list that I have to get done tomorrow. Um, plus prepare for her birthday. She still doesn't know what food she wants to do for dinner. And my mom and Ken's dad's coming over. And Chase and Asha, of course. And uh, Blake won't be able to make it because he works. So, I don't know. Just um, plugging away, guys. I just like to be able to share these moments with you where... I'm not like doing the best. It's kind of just a draining day for me, even emotionally. Like I literally feel like I just want to like go to bed and maybe cry a little bit and go to sleep. Like it's, <sighs> women will get it. I don't mean to sound mean to men because maybe men go through this too. And if you do, you know, like 
I feel for you because I don't know what it is why we have to deal with this like emotional roller coaster crap. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about other than just trying to tell you guys that when things always look so like, oh, she's doing so great, losing weight, this and that. I'm not always doing the best. I'm hanging in there. Things could be so, so, so much worse. I'm not complaining. Just saying I struggled today. So excited about tomorrow being a new day. Workout session with the trainer. Lots to get done tomorrow. It'll be a good day. But I'm glad for this day to almost be over. So thanks guys for watching this video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'm really trying to just stick with the every other day posting. If you haven't figured that out on our channel yet, that's pretty much going to be the plan for, for now. So thanks guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Make it a great day. Bye.